hi welcome back to my channel today I will be talking about how you can get an apartment when you are coming to Canada now the first thing that you need to think about when it comes to getting an apartment is timing there are four different timing that is the best times to look for an apartment so those timings are one during May when most persons are leaving their apartments to go to their home country to spend the summer that is one of the best times to get an apartment this is also the time frame when persons are graduating from school and leaving the country so this is why during May is one of the best times to be looking for an apartment and that will increase your chances of getting an apartment so one during May two during July so July is the next time frame that is the best time to be looking for an apartment anytime during July and when it comes to like specifically the time frame that you should be looking at is between during like the end of the month like starting from the 28th of the month to the first of the month search during that time and when you're looking for an apartment what you need to be doing is to look every single day and throughout the day as well because currently in Canada there is a housing crisis where it is very hard to get an apartment and it is very very competitive so this is why if you are looking for an apartment you have to be looking throughout the day because the apartment goes very quickly I'm telling you that when I was looking for an apartment it was very hard to do because apartments was going away after the ad has been up for like two hours and persons are telling me that they already have persons booking for viewing already usually like back when I first came here, apartments were still hard to get, but it was way easier. Like when I contacted someone after three, four days of having their ad up, I was able to still get a viewing and there wasn't anyone else in the lineup for viewing. Because basically, if there is a lineup for viewing, that basically means that the apartment is already gone because if someone signs up to get a viewing there's a high possibility that the place is already gone because when you look at it when you're looking at an ad it basically shows you everything already and you already know what the price is you already know exactly what the place looks like you it's it's very it's it's the possibility of you not getting that apartment is very low if you are going in for a viewing and you've already seen it already because the only way that you would be turned off is if the size is way smaller than you saw it in the picture or there is something else and a different rule that didn't come up at that point so those are the times when there's a possibility that you wouldn't get the apartment but once you go in for viewing it's kind of a guarantee but in recent times when I look for apartments, it's very hard to get an apartment. Very, very hard. Persons are booking multiple people for viewing. It's just very chaotic. It, it, it really doesn't make any sense what they're doing as well. Because like, why would you be booking multiple people? For the, for the same apartment like there's a high chance if the first person doesn't take it the second person will take it so what's the point of having a lineup of five people five six people for the apartment so that's the first thing in terms of timeline look into me May is when persons are graduating, persons are leaving. Look into June because June is when persons are opening up and is opening up opportunities for you to get an apartment. So look during June as well because that is also a good time frame to get somewhere because at that point there are persons who will realize that or the person who left is not coming back and they get all sort of different news. So at the end of June, you should be looking 28th of June right down until the 1st of July look every single day and then July like the first second and third day look into those days throughout the day don't just look once and leave it throughout the day you should be looking if you really want to get an apartment the next best time frame to get somewhere is during November 
Now, during November is basically when persons are giving notice to their landlords telling them that they are leaving. Persons, again, are leaving school. This is why it's a good time frame because persons are leaving school. Usually, persons give notice for one month. So if they know that they're leaving for December, they are going to be giving notice even earlier into October, into November. So during in the mid mid october all of november you should be looking you should be searching so time frame is very very important so if you're you have a september intake start looking from may and july look for an apartment those are like the best time frames if you're looking other times yes there's a possibility you could get somewhere but if you want to increase your chances of getting an apartment you have to look during these specific months especially if you can't get anywhere throughout the other months just know that these are the months that you would definitely find somewhere so November mid October and then during December the beginning of December you can find places there are places that are building and they try to get their building ready for December because they know that there's a huge influx of people coming in for January so because buildings are being built they are actually on a time frame to get things done for these specific times once they are considering students and this is of course for off-campus now if we are talking about on campus then you have to be looking way earlier like if you're interested in on-campus housing once you've gotten your acceptance into the school or once you've even decided that you want to go to the school ensure you get your acceptance letter and start start hunting for start signing up for those residencies start asking questions about how a residency works I did do an entire video on the cost to travel to Canada. So if that is something that interests you, definitely I'm going to leave it down below. I also link it here so that you can see the direct cost for the apartment and just the cost in general to come to Canada. Like if you're coming here, you're looking for an apartment, then you want to know what's the cost to actually come here. Um, of course, it is quoted in Canadian dollars. All you have to do is convert the currency from Canadian dollars to whatever currency you have in your home country. So where are the places where you will actually find housing? So the first places that I'll be telling you will be the places where I've actually found housing before. So one was Kijiji. Two, I found somewhere on Zooking. It's Z-O-E-K-E-N. And I also found an apartment on Facebook Marketplace. So if you're looking for an apartment, those are the three core places that I found somewhere before. There's also one called Places for Students. I wasn't successful on there, but there are usually listings there as well. And then the next one is Zumber. Um, I've never used it before, but I definitely checked it and saw that it was being updated and things like that. So that's somewhere you can check. But number one places, Facebook Marketplace. Kijiji and Zooking and usually you'll realize that listings repeat on each website as well So what is the cost for apartments in Canada? So apartments specifically in the Atlantic region would be shared apartments right now as I speak is 500 to 700 for students who want to share an apartment if it's um, I think seven 700 would be like a nicer place Shared apartment would be $500 to $700 if you're sharing with someone. And then if you are looking for a fully self-contained one bedroom, that is $800 to $1,200 for that. In general, when you're looking for an apartment, you need to just think about what exactly you want and how much you have to afford because at the end of the day if you can't afford the apartment it doesn't matter what you are looking for if you can't afford it there's no point so you need to think about how much money you have to pay for an apartment how much you can budget out for that and just keep in mind that six hundred dollars is a lot of money um, five hundred dollars is a lot of money in any um, currency the only way that you wouldn't see the currency as a lot is if you're coming from another first world country if you're coming from a third world country 
this is going to be a huge transition to be paying 500 600 700 dollars on an apartment and that's just the reality so when you're transitioning that's going to be the most difficult point of your transition to canada is actually when you are seeing the currency um, being transferred into canadian dollars it's just going to seem absolutely ridiculous um, but once you begin to earn money then it's not that difficult for you because once you're making money then you're making money in Canadian dollars so it helps you it helps the equation in that regard thank you so much for watching the video I hope you enjoyed it remember to subscribe to the channel and I will see you in my next video bye